Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we're gonna walk through handling yes and no responses in an Alexa skill using the Amazon yes intent and the Amazon no intent. And this tutorial is kind of inspired by a post that Mark Tucker did. This is, uh, I guess, back in December, but um, uh, it makes some really good points about just dealing with like single word responses, yes and no's, and I realized when I was reading this that I haven't really covered that. It's it's kind of a simple case, but it's really super common. So um, I'll leave a link, by the way, to, to this, uh, this post, because I think it's a good one. Uh, it's a simple case, but it's really super common. So dealing with single word responses and then handling the um, the state of those are, are two really kind of fundamental things. So um, yeah, so this tutorial is kind of inspired by that. Before jumping into it, however, make sure that you um, check the description of the video. And if you see something like this, updated video with a link, follow that link because this stuff changes really quick. So if it has changed, you wanna watch the most current version of the tutorial so that you're not wasting your time on something that is outdated. All right, with that, we are gonna start with um, from the Amazon, if you go to developer.amazon.com slash Alexa, and then uh, log in to, if you don't have an account, you'll need to set one up, but log in, then go to your Alexa consoles and then your Alexa skills. And from here, we're gonna create a new skill and we're gonna use um, the hosted skills, which I've been using recently for the demos, which is nice. I use, um, I, I still like for production stuff, I still use the Ask CLI and prefer that, but for uh, doing simple skills and demos, uh, doing everything in the browser is, is super nice. And I did a video, a tutorial on using um, the hosted skills recently. I can leave a link to that as well if you haven't, um, if you haven't uh, done anything with the hosted skills. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. This takes a minute because one of the differences with hosted skills and, and building skills using AWS is your backend. AWS will still be the backend, but it provisions all of the AWS resources. So you actually don't need an AWS account to uh, do, it, do it this way, but this takes a minute. So I am just going to fast forward to uh, shorten this a little bit. Okay, so now our skill is ready to go. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn on testing so that we can test this. And when you use the hosted skills, the um, when you set one up, it, it kind of sets up with a boilerplate hello world skill. So I'll show you what that does. Just go test it here. And... Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? We'll just say hello for right now. Hello world. Okay, um, so what I want to do is I want to set this up to deal with yes and no, and let's test what it does by default with yes. Yeah, and no. Actually, you know, it's still not in session, so let's do this. Let's get back in here. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Say yes. Hello world. Yeah, and so it's getting handled by um, the intent handler that is uh, the like probably the only intent handler like this. Uh, let's see. This is why I like the hosted skills. You can jump right into the code and the browser and uh, see what's going on and change that. And that's what we're going to do here. But yeah, so right now this um, hello world intent handler is picking up our yes response and it would probably do the same thing for the no response, I'm guessing. Let's test it out. Uh, same deal. Let me get back in here. Welcome. You can say hello or help. Hello world. Yeah, so um, that same handler is is uh, catching the yes and no responses. We're gonna change that up. Um, to do that, we want to add a couple of built-in intents. So we're gonna go to the build menu over here and we're gonna add the Amazon yes intent and the Amazon no intent. So from the uh, build section here, if you go to intents and then add, these are existing intents from the built-in, Alexis built-in intent library. And if you just search for yes, you'll find the yes, Amazon yes intent. This is what we're looking for and we'll wanna add that and then same thing for the no intent. 
So there's the no intent, we'll add that. And is that added? Yeah, it is. And so we'll save that and I'll start the model building. And while that's building, we'll go back to our code and we'll wire up handlers to handle those intents. So uh, it's pretty simple. I'm going to keep the code simple um, and just do two separate handlers, one for yes and one for no. I typically handle uh, the yes and no intents with a single handler and then just check for or add the um, uh, set it up to, so that it handles either. But for this to keep it simple, we'll do one handler for yes and we'll do another handler for no, like that. Um, and let's see, we want yes. And down here, we want no. And uh, I'm gonna change this just to make it make sense. So welcome. Are you having a nice day? Uh, so that's what we're going to ask when the skill launches. Are you having a nice day? And then if the user says yes, we'll say I'm glad to hear it. And if the user says no, we'll say I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, and the only other thing we need to do is just make sure that these guys are added down here. So, I go like this. And so, they're all wired up. So we got our yes intent handler down here and our no intent handler. <clears throat> and with that, we should be all good to go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna save this. And once it saves, then here, I'm gonna deploy it. And once it's finished deploying, then we're ready to go test it out. So that just takes a second usually, and we'll be ready. Good, ready to go. So now we can go over here to where it is, where's my testing? Uh, yeah, here we go. So um, same thing, I'll just open the demo skill. Welcome. Are you having a nice day? I'll say yes. I am glad to hear that. Um, so, so it's working, but now uh, if I say no, just, well. I am sorry to hear that. So I just randomly said no, and right now uh, I get the response back that we coded up in the handler, I'm sorry to hear that but there's really no context. And I'm not gonna dive into that in this video. Um, Mark talks about the importance of that in the article, and I am gonna come back in the uh, follow-on tutorial to this and talk. There was a, an earlier, uh, there was an earlier demo or an or earlier tutorial I did on state management, which is uh, using state handlers here. This was pretty, re uh, no, that's an old one, um, but this one's pretty recent down here um, and it talks about state management but I'm gonna do a follow-on video to this and look at uh, state management and session using session data to, to kind of tie this together and, and also talk about the uh, the built-in repeat intent which is kind of relevant to uh, uh, common use cases where you ask Alexa to repeat and so I'll cover that in uh, probably the next uh, tutorial. So hopefully this was helpful. It was a quick one, simple case, but again, I realized that I really hadn't covered that and it is important. And so hopefully it was helpful. If it was, please like the video and uh, it, for more, go to uh, youtube.com slash Dabalab. That's what this is here. And there are, I need to update this. There are more than 120 now. Um, I think there's like 160 something now. Um, on all things uh, Alexa skill development and also um, Google Assistant and uh, Twilio Autopilot and uh, Cortana or Microsoft Bot Framework. There's uh, something there for everybody. So thanks so much and please uh, subscribe.